Hello everyone, always a joy to be here in South Yorkshire. We're at Bramall Lane. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Sheffield United up against Crystal Palace. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Sheffield United. John Egan plays alongside Chris Basham in central defence. Sander Berge plays alongside Oliver Norwood in central midfield. And in attack, Billy Sharp plays alongside Oliver McBurney. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schlup starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you for attending today's game at Bramall Lane. Enjoy the match. And the contest begins. Sharp. Showing a lot of guile there. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Jefferson Lerma. And Edouard with it. Zaha. Could play it in. Schloop. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Sharp. It's with John Fleck. Jeffrey Schloop. Now with Lerma. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Sharp. Effective challenge. Odson Edouard. Jeffrey Schroep. Oh, they've lost it. John Fleck. And no way through. And now a corner coming up. <laughs> Playing it short. Sharp. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Jeffrey Schroep. Ezzy. Schroep. Nicely timed tackle. Sharp. Now oh, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And they need to get tighter here. John Fleck. Crossing into the middle. 
Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Odson Edouard. Jeffrey Schrupp. I must say, this looks promising. Ezzy. Schlup. He takes aim. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. John Egan. Lerma. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Fleck, Oliver Norwood, and Clark on the ball, and given away. Well, as those stats confirm, Palace have had the lion's share of the ball, but they haven't done enough with it, particularly in the midfield areas, where their passing has been far too safe, and that needs to change quickly if they're to win this one. Indeed, and first they have to win back possession. Will he finish? And a fine stop. Short corner it is. Sharp. And it's in! 1 0. They breach the defence. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Jeffrey Schlup. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And players waiting in the centre. And blocked for now. Making high pressing work for them here. Now veering in field. And the referee says penalty. And now to level the game. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1 1. Half time then. The first half has come to an end here in South Yorkshire. Well, a lot to like about Wilfried Zaha and what he's put into the game so far. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45?
And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And blocked for now. Fleck. Sharp. But Bernie. Just the challenge that was required. Hudson Edouard. Wonderfully weighted pass. A decisive clearance it was. Schlup. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. <laughs> Playing it short. Now sliding in field. Schlup. Magnificent defending. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Well, they've decided to make a change. A breaking easy. Coming onto the pitch, number 19, Will Hughes. Well, Palace have had all the possession over the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. Yes, it's going to plan. And they're missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Substitution time as is here. Sharp. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. Schlup. And Zaha has it. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Jefferson Lerma. Can they take the lead here? And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here.
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Flag raised for offside. Jefferson Lerma. Now with Mateta. Oh, good looking run. Well, got there in the end. That's the important thing. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. John Fleck. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away, but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. This looks promising. Credit to them for winning back possession. And using his body to good effect. Sharp. Simple catch, really. Will Hughes. Crossing opportunity. Lerma, this could finish it! And that is defending of the highest order. Oliver McBurney. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Zaha. Very quick thinking there. Baldock. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And there goes the final whistle. A real disappointment for the Blades on the back of this performance. A defeat here. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.